This review has been brought to you by Unique Performance. What I'm reviewing today is the Cosworth head gasket for the Genesis Coupe, uh, the 2.0T version. This is actually the head gasket for 4B11T Mitsubishi Evo engine, um, but it works for the, the Genesis Coupe due to the similar head pattern design. Uh, when you receive it, it comes in a little cardboard slate piece. Uh, it's got the Cosworth logo running, running back here. And this particular gasket is the 87 millimeter bore, 1.1 uh, millimeter thick head gasket. And it's going to be really difficult to show on here, but it's actually really thick. It's made up. Of several layers of steel, which is, and the layers are held fixed into the uh, position so there's no chance of them moving around um, by these little rivets here, or I shouldn't say rivets, little pieces, either way. And you've got the Cosworth logo embossed on the top. Now what makes this gasket special versus, say, the OEM one from Hyundai? Um, this one is basically built for the life of your engine, so once you've got everything installed and you put this gasket in, uh, the chances of this gasket ever failing are pretty much slim to nil. Cosworth has a huge history in the aftermarket automotive community and building race engines and uh, Formula One engines, so when it comes to technology like this, these guys are top notch. And when you're looking for products that are top-notch for your Genesis Coupe, this is really it. This is the best gasket you're going to get for your, for your Genesis Coupe. All of these are uh, oil drain locations uh, around the head of your block. Um, the cylinder areas are obviously nice, nicely cut out, nice thick sections here between. And these are actually reinforced with ridging. So when you press the head down, there's a little bit of an expansion where the head might not seal completely, and that prevents any uh, compression from leaking over into the other cylinder. The, because the Genesis Coupe does not have a water gallery between here, it's actually just straight flush, and you'll see that on the, on the engine build. Or you might have seen it in other pictures. Um, so it's really important that this section of the gasket is really, really durable because it's taking the full, uh, the full combustion of this chamber as well as this chamber and it's doing that through the length of the gasket. So if you're looking for the gasket that's going to really never fail for your Genesis Coupe, this is it. And it's ri ridiculously easy to install as you guys will see in the coming weeks. And there you go. Best gasket on the market for the Genesis Coupe this one right here and anybody's interested the part number is two zero 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 four one two two and you can see all the information here on it some when someone might ask uh, well why did you go with an 87 millimeter versus the 86 because there is an 86 and the simple answer to that is I haven't quite decided yet if I'm going to increase the bore and 87 millimeters is really the biggest I want to go um, so if I get to the point where I want to increase the bore that tiny smidgen uh, I don't have to go out and get a new gasket and if I don't end up boring it the 87 millimeter gasket will still function perfectly won't have any issues um, and I just have a little bit lower compression ratio to compensate for that 1.1 millimeter gap and the extra millimeter in depth as that will modify my combustion chamber volume a bit. Look for more and more and more products just trust me that I'm going to be reviewing everything that goes onto this engine so make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, follow on the forums, follow on my YouTube um, and wait to see all the different products that I'm going to be bringing to this build and you guys are going to get a look at every single one of them. Ask questions in the comment section, ask questions on the thread and I will try my best to answer everything. Uh, but this is a learning project for me as I've never worked on one of these engines before. So 
If you guys have questions, definitely ask them. That way, when I get to that section of the build, I've already got all the questions lined up so I can answer them as we go. Thank you for watching, and like I said, subscribe for more because it's going to be awesome.